time in YouTube and welcome back to Deck Profiles. Today we are going to be looking over Chris Shemansky's Metagross GX which got second place at the Madison Regionals. Um, again, I'm a bit late on a lot of these decks but uh, I've been trying to get ready for Final Fantasy XIV and I'm actually a little bit behind in even getting these recordings done so for whatever reason you guys don't happen to see a video come up in the coming days, you know where I am. I got, I got priorities going on. Anyway, Metagross GX here is a 250 steel type beast of a stage 2 Pokemon. Uh, has the Geotech system once during your turn. Uh, you may attach a psychic or steel energy from your discard pile and put it onto your active Pokemon. It does not necessarily have to be the Metagross, it can be your active Pokemon, and there are other Pokemon in here that you can attach it to, so it's kind of cool. Uh, you also have the Giga Hammer, uh, two steel, one cutlass for 150 damage. This Pokemon can't use Giga Hammer on the following turn, so we do want to try and find ways of having that good old retreat or anything like that. Um, and its Algorithm GX is actually really, really cool. For one colorless energy, you get to search your deck for up to five cards and put them into your hand uh, shuffle afterwards. But likelihood is you are going to get end after that. But And we saw it a lot in his matches that he would just get immediately end. Um, but with that being said, let's look at the rest of his list. Again, this is a carbon copy of his list that he used in Madison. I have not altered or done anything with it, it's just, it's literally his list. Um, so first off, he does run one Delmize, 120 HP Psychic Pokemon, it is a basic. It has that Steel Worker ability, uh, your Steel Pokemon's attacks do 10 more damage uh, to your opponent's Pokemon. Has the anchor shot for one steel, two colorless, you can do 70 damage and the po defending Pokemon can't retreat. And here is one of the Pokemon that actually can attack for you if your GX is unready to go or things just don't work out for you. Uh, Delmize can do some work, but not, not exactly meant to be the number one attacker, of course. Uh, next up we do have the Tapu Lele. Uh, Tapu Lele is pretty simple here as it is your big Wonder Tag driver. Uh, you can attach energies from Metagross onto it. Uh, it does have that ability to top you cure. So if for whatever reason you are getting low on these HP Metagross, bam, you can use that top you cure. Uh, other than the algorithm GX, you can use it. And it, it, it works in fantastic synergy. Um, and lastly, we have this random one slot for Alolan Vulpix, the 60 HP water type Pokemon. And all you're using it for is that beacon attack. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. This helps get these Metagross lines so much easier than, say, grabbing something else. Uh, next up, we're gonna running, we are running two Field Blowers. We are running three Max Potion. And again, we're really trying to stabilize around that 250 HP. There aren't a lot of cards right now that can hit one-shotting that Metagross. So it's really crucial to have these healing elements try and get us going, especially when we don't have the luxury of just switching and doing all those kind of things either. Uh, we are running three rare candy. Uh, this just lets us skip that Matang stage, get right into that Metagross stage. Uh, we're running one rescue stretcher, put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or shuffle three in any combination to your deck. Uh, we have four Ultra Ball, this will help us get Pokemon easier. Uh, the Via Seekers are obviously easy for support. We're running one Bridget for that early game. Uh, you get to search your deck for up to one basic EX or three basic Pokemon and just throw them right on your bench. Please don't go for that Tapu Lele because it is not going to work out for you. Uh, it is just going to be causing you a problem. Uh, we are running one Hex Maniac to deal with the abilities. Uh, we are running a Karen in case Vespa Queen is a problem, which it was in the Madison Regionals. Uh, and Karen always will be a pretty good supporter for that. Uh, we are running two Lysanders, which one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. We are running three and Each player shuffles his or her hand back into their deck and draws cards equal to the remaining prize cards. Um, we're running one Olympia to try and switch up those Metagross. And does have that healing aspect as well. We have that Kukui to kind of push us over that um, 180 barrier. If, as long as we've got a Delmize, uh, we'll hit that, two six, or that 160 uh, with the Delmize and then 180 with the Kukui. So we do have that knockout potential with Metagross. Um, we are running four Sycamore for that consistent card draw. And we're running four Choice Band because you know what? When you get Field Blower, you want to make sure you got more Choice Band. Uh, so pretty straightforward there. And again, we're going to help us get to that nice 200 mark uh, Giga Hammer. Uh, you get that Delmize. So there you go. You've hit that 180 mark. 
and uh, no, sorry, 30 damage, not 20. I don't know what I'm thinking. 30 damage, so that's 180, plus the dumbass is 190, and then if you manage to Kukui, you can hit for 210. So it's pretty good damage scaling. Uh, and then we are running 8 Steel Energy and 2 Psychic Energy. Now, I'm going to say this right now before we get into games, because I'm pretty sure some of you are coming from that anti-garb Volcanion deck, and you're like, what happened there? And I'm going to say this right now, I don't always make the best plays, and I don't always make all the decks I come up with. So when I play them, I will never be able to play them the same way that that great old person who ran it in that regionals is going to be able to play it. I'm just going to play it my way, and I'm going to make mistakes. So with that being said, let us get into these matches and see just how well I can run Metagross online. Alright guys, our first match is against BuzzBuzz97 Buzz playing a Dark deck. Uh, there's a lot of options here, it could be. Uh, it could be Dark, right? Got that Fennekin. Definitely a Fennekin deck, because, you know, it's Dark deck and Fennekin, even even when it is a Delphox, it's only a Psychic type. It's not Dark type. Greninja would have been Dark type. Uh, we are going to be able to get Vulpix as our active here, which is kind of a cool lead. I don't have to waste energy, I can just kind of go for Pokemon. I'm going to get first turn attack here, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I have no additional Pokemon though, and really I don't have a great starting board. Uh, this is going to be Eevee, it looks like it's Coco Murkrow. Uh, or, or Umbreon, Coco, or Umbreon Murkrow, because there is no electricity. Uh, so this is a dark version of our Coco Murkrow, I guess. Uh, we're going to see that dark evolution take off here. And he can't strife right now because it is turn one. Uh, but getting that Umbreon is a pretty strong play here. Especially because I don't have any luxury of playing right now. I do get the Beldum, so I can kind of start setting things up here. Uh, I got, I, there, there ain't much I want to go for yet. In terms of the, I don't need to use the Field Blower. Um, I kind of want to keep that Choice Band in terms of further turns. Uh, I'm just going to Beacon. Beacon's the best play. I can get a Maytang and a fellow Beldum uh, since I already have the Metagross in hand. Uh, if I pull a rare candy, that would be clutch. Um, the likelihood is I'm not going to. Uh, so we're going to see Beldum. I've got a full line in my hand. I've got a Steel Energy in hand. I've got a Steel Energy on the board. We're looking okay. Uh, my opponent does just need to drop a Double Colorless Energy though, as they do, and this will be the end of my Vulpix, but I'm not worried about it. It puts them into that 7 prize game as long as I can kind of get some damage off in the next turn or two. Um, so I really do need to speed up some of the process here. Because my Matang is just not going to cut it in terms of damage here. Uh, I, and I could not support. Uh, my opponent does have a Shaman, which is actually good for us because that is an easy prize for us to take. Uh, if I can manage to get that set up early. Um, whereas this Umbreon, on the other hand, is not so easy because we don't really hit that 200 mark. Uh, we need a lot of cards to get to that 200 mark. We need the Delmize in play. We're going to see a Bursting Balloon onto that Umbreon. Okay, so in other words, I can't attack even if I wanted to. And we are going to see an N, which is going to make this really painful because that's the problem with why Alolan Vulpix was not really considered competitive because N can happen. But you know what? I still get my Matang, and now I'm actually in a better position than I was prior. Uh, my opponent is switching my Pokemon. And is actually going to knock out my Beldum. Oh, man. Well, Tapu Lele is our play. Tapu Lele is going to be our play. We are going to go for Bridget. Uh, but we are in a really bad position. Because uh, I can't I can't control the board right now. I have no way of controlling this board. So I played my energy. Uh, we'll, we'll play down a steel energy here. We're going to go for a nice choice band on... I'm going to hold on to that choice band because, like I said last time, he can uh, repel or do whatever it takes. This time I won't give him a Beldum though. I'll give him like a Tapu Lele or whatever because it's not weak to it and I can kind of get it out of there. Uh, I am going to Beacon again though. Uh, I already have two Metagross, or sorry, Matang, so I can kind of grab these Metagross. Um, I'm going to probably end. So let's go for the... Let's just do it. 
I don't have any other choice. So let's do it. Let's grab them. One of our Beldums is prized. I'm noticing that already as well. So we've got all those Pokemon in hand, and Vulpix is showing that it does have that capability of keeping up with what it needs to do. I do need to drop an energy, though, to get rid of it or let them take that prize early game. Um, so the Velpix is not going to be something I want to keep around right now, but I do have increased damage with the Delmize. As long as I can get these Matangs down, they're a little bit safer from the Strife or even from the Shadow Bullet. Uh, we're going to see another Nest Ball. And it's going to be that Murkrow line. This is actually a really cool idea too, because it's not letting me attack the active, but he's continuously taking out my Beldum. I'm unable to evolve here, uh, but he could take out both, which is good. Uh, but unfortunately, my Matang does not have enough HP to warrant another attack. So I'm in a bit of a bind. A bit of a bind. Um... Uh, let's go with the Beldum. <coughs> I don't know what to promote. Uh, we are going to go with the Matang here. Uh, Psychic Energy Drop? I could have just gone for Tapu Cure, but at the same point, like it's, I'm in a bad position here. You know what? I can't. I can't play this. How did he win with this deck? Like this is so clunky. All right, guys. Match number one is here. We're going up against Manuel Badul. Manuel Badul. Playing with the good old card game. We are going to go first. This gives us that opportunity to evolve on turn one, like our turn two. Uh, we have no Pokemon. Uh, our opponent had no Pokemon. He's playing Mega Tyranitar. Guys, if you've ever wanted to see a matchup, this is one. The Battle of Champions. We didn't even get a basic here. So he knows that we're running Metagross. Uh, he is still going to get a... Pro um, uh, a mulligan on us, even though we've got so many basic Pokemon, it's not even funny. Uh, we are gonna get top. Nah. We have no additional Pokemon. Like we we mulligan twice and then start Tapu Lele. We're in we're in over our heads here. Uh, I can choice ban. He's running Zubats, which is weird because we can't do a full line of Zubat as far as I know. Um, I might actually want to go for the Ultra Ball. I might actually drop that Steel Energy. I'm gonna get rid of the other Ultra Ball. Do I really get rid of the Steel Energy? I don't need a drop. We're gonna get that other Tapu Lele, and we're gonna go for that Bro. Hold on. Yes, Bridget's in here. Okay. So we're okay. Uh, we're going to go for the Tapu Lele play here. Get ourselves that Bridget turn one. And this gives me those Beldums I need to start evolving. Because if I pass up this turn right now and not have a Beldum on the turn, I'll be really behind my opponent, which I don't want. Like, he's already going to potentially be behind because he's got... Uh, I'm going to take... The, the, the Delmize is prized, so that is huge. Uh, I've only got two Beldums. Two of them are also prized. I'm going to hold off on the Choice Ban. Uh, even though I've got one in hand right, or on my Tapu Lele right now, it doesn't matter. Tapu Lele can come in uh, and do some decent damage. Uh, this guy is literally setting up a Zubat. This guy is literally setting up a Zubat. We do see the Ultra Ball off the Skyla, so he's already supported. I don't have to worry about that. We are going to see an Ultra Ball. What is he discarding here? A Parallel City and a Floatstone. Apparently the Floatstone was not necessary. He has the Tyranitar EX. Uh, and our, alt, our our choice band will still do a ton of damage to it. He's going for a Max Elixir onto that T-Tar. Uh, another Max Elixir onto that T-Tar. And does miss it, though. Uh, skill Dive can hit anything. It's not going to matter. Just hits my Tapu Lele for 10. And uh, we are going to get a Rare Candy here. That's not going to do us any good. Let's slow choice band down onto the Beldum and let's end. Uh, it's going to help my opponent out in a great way. And I did not get a choice ban. Or I didn't get a rare candy. So I'm actually really behind in this. 
Like, I'm really behind in this. Let's drop a Steel Energy down this turn. Uh, I can get a Met Metang uh, by discarding these two. Uh, and this way I can at least evolve once, and the next turn, regardless, I've got a Metagross. Because uh, I do have that VS Seeker, so regardless if they end or not, I should be able to attack. Uh, I don't have a way to get out of here, but I do have Olympia in the discard with two ends and a Bridget. Uh, so we're going to see another Zubat line. It uh, does drop a double colorless energy, so they can easily retreat. Uh, and we are going to end a bit of a problem, but not a bit of a problem. I'm all right with it because I don't have to waste a VS Seeker. Uh, I just may not get my Metagross back, and I didn't. But I did get the Rare Candy. Uh, we're still going, we are actually seeing the Reverse Valley, and this is actually good because I take 10 less damage, so this this really is not going to matter too much. Uh, he, he hit my Metagross that actually is resistant to Psychic Attacks, um, so yeah, there, there was that. Um, I already have a Steel Energy in here. I need an Ultra Ball for Metagross, though. All right. I can Lysander away, or sorry, I can Ultra Ball away. Is there a way to get both? Potentially in this turn? I can't retreat anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's, let's go for these. Let's get that Metagross. I can start attacking though. Uh, Metagross line comes down. Uh, we don't need a field blower. I can end my hand right now and try and get uh, maybe try and get that rare candy Metagross on the second one. Uh, I will drop the Steel Energy down onto the Tapu Lele because if I need to, I can retreat. Um, because right now I'm doing 40 damage. I could get that 50 damage if I manage... Actually, I can knock this thing out. Which is a prize. Uh, and my opponent can do not a whole lot. He hasn't actually managed to do anything with it yet. So I'm going to end. Because I don't need Field Blower or Rare Candy right now. This thing's actually going to make it so my Metagross takes 10 less damage. And I'm kind of okay with it. Because it literally just mitigates what's going on. Uh, I got the Rare Candy, but I did not get the Met Metagross. Uh, so I can just evolve. I can start getting rid of the rare candies later. I got that field blower back. Um, again, it's not helpful. I'm actually just gonna geotech and attach an energy to my uh, Tapu Lele here and go for the knockout. Uh, it'll be one prize I get back. I don't think my opponent can knock me out yet. I'm gonna get a steel energy out of the discard pile, which is cool. Which is cool. Well, he's actually just going to opt that, Zub that Zubat. Uh, he's not ready to up that Tyranitar just yet. Uh, he is going to drop a second one. Uh, we're going to see an Ultra Ball. This is definitely an old build um, of Tyranitar. There isn't a whole lot of new cards. We're going to see that Sneaky Bite come into play. And he's going to start trying to hit one of my other players. Um, but he does not have that Crobat. It is not in standard, so it's not going to matter. Uh, we are going to see 20 damage, and we're going to get end. This is perfectly fine by me, because again, the Steel Energy just kind of rotates back into the hand, and I'll be actually able to potentially get better cards, but I didn't. Of course not. Why would I, why would I get better cards? Why? Why would I ever get better cards? Uh, we're we're going to see that he's got that dark, uh, that dangerous energy, so I'll take 10 damage on that attack. Uh, he can switch. He can hit me for... Uh, yeah. What? That, that I didn't understand. But I'm gonna be a seeker. I'm gonna end. Because I kinda need a Metagross. Kind of need a Metagross right now. I got it, which is beautiful. And now I can actually just retreat, go into my uh, Metagross line here, and kind of take him out. Because I can now attach two energy drops per turn. Uh, I have a Steel Energy in here already. I'll have a second one upon the retreat. And now I have a VS Secret in hand that can actually do damage as well. So I have an energy drop, which is cool. 
Um, I'm gonna sa do I save it? No, I drop it onto the second Metagross. Uh, cause this way I can kind of just do the exact same thing, kind of go back and forth and I'll be okay. Uh, we are going to go for that Geotech system. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are going to retreat first and then go into our Geotech system. Uh, so we'll do both Geotech system. Go for one, onto the active, boom. One, onto the active, boom. There we go. Fully set up Metagross GX on the field, ready to go with a Giga Hammer Impact. And we're going to take our first two prizes from the EX. I know we took a Zubat, but this is one of the bigger threats. He's coming in here to try and knock us out, but he's he's got a lot of damage to still go. If he gets, he's going into that gold bat. He does have free retreat though, so it's okay. That's actually a good play for him. Does have that Tyranitar Spirit Link, and I'm pretty sure that's what he's been looking for this whole time. Uh, this attack does 60 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So I'm going to take 120 more damage on top of the 110. I think that's actually in range of knocking me out. That's actually pretty insane. That's actually really insane that we found him. Yep, yep, actually knocks me out. Interesting. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> I need an energy drop, and I can't knock this guy out. I can't knock this guy out. Uh, so I'm going to get another Sycamore. I am going to just Sycamore my hand right now, because, you know, I, I need an energy drop. I can then algorithm and attack. I got the energy drop. I actually got full rare candy line. And, uh, oh, he's also got the state. Well, the stadium doesn't matter. Again, yeah, stadium does not matter here. Uh, we can drop the steel energy here. And, uh, hmm. Do I geotech system? I, I'm going to get 150 damage. Or I'm going to get 180 damage off right now. Let's do it. Because I think we can take this Mega Titar out. I really do. So, we're going to go for that Giga Impact. Like, this turn we can't. This turn we can't. Uh, we hit for 180. Uh, he does have that Gold Bat on the field, though, which is absolutely fantastic for us because that does mean we can go for that Lysander and knock it out later. He's going to go for a Skylar right now. So, I know he's not going for Lysander or anything like that. Uh, he could go for max. Why would you go for a max potion? I'm thinking, like, how do you heal this off? How do you deal with this? Because I don't have any damage counters on me right now. He has that float stone, though. Uh, you go for a float stone? You can hold two items because of your delta, your double. Okay, so he's going to retreat out. And he's just going to go swoop across. Which is fine. Which is fine. But uh, I have Lysander currently here. Uh, so, as long as I go with the rare candy, Metagross, I can uh, knock this guy out. So, Metagross is going to be able to come in here. I'm just going to go for the good old VS Seeker into that Lysander. And uh, we're going to take this. We're going to retreat out, which is going to cost all three of our energy. But, two of them will go on to our new Metagross, who does not have the choice ban. And that is the victory! We have taken over the nasty destroyer king, Tyranitar, with the Metagross. As you can see, once you start getting, once you've got a Metagross up, you have a, you're a presence. Now, of course, he did knock us out in one shot, which is actually kind of scary because that's not something you're going to see too much. But, well, okay, he had, I had to have 20 damage on me, but even still, it's pretty much a one shot. Um, but... We managed to get through, get our third Metagross line going, and we were able to completely get our damage running. And once you get that going, as long as you've got an energy drop in your hand, you're beautiful. So, with that, Metagross GX does prove that it's still a very, like, it's not still, that it is a very strong deck. But can we prove it twice? I'm hoping so. Alright, so match number two is against Hurtum, playing Dark Fighting Psychic. Dark fighting? Dark fighting. What is this? Uh, we're going to win the coin toss, though, which is great, because I will be able to play first. Um, and again, this will get my evolutions off a little easier. Uh, I do have a full line, though, which is absolutely amazing. Um, 
My opponent doesn't even have a basic, so this is a really good start for me. I can drop down my Delmise. I can kind of get kind of get a nice cushy feeling on this one. Um, I may have to take a while to get up to that. Uh, that turn two, we're gonna see. He's got the Altar of the Moon. He's got Field Blower, Lysander, Explore, XP Share. It, it almost feels like a Dark Rye Yveltal deck, but I don't know what the fighting is. Obviously, the Psychic is Tapu Lele. Like that. That's just kind of obvious. But doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Um, uh, yes, of course, we'd love an additional card. And it's going to be another Beldum! Hey, I don't have to go for Bridget this time. I uh, don't plan to put the Tapu Lele down. So it is definitely Dark Ryuvatal. Definitely Dark Ryuvatal. Yeah, Yveltal. Um, so my plays are kind of weird here. I don't have a steel energy. I actually would benefit from Enning, um, because I could easily get Metagross back. I, I may not get the choice ban, though. Uh, let's go for support. Let's see what our options are. And we're going to have Olympia. Uh, what's in here? Uh, we got eight steel. One psychic energy is prized. Uh, one via Seeker is prized. Ultra Ball is prized. Um, one max potion is prized. And looks like it no sycamores here. Looks like an N is prized. Okay, so we're gonna end. Again, I didn't have a great hand in terms of that. Like I had a fantastic like let's bench this. Let's do this. Let's get this game underway. Um but I didn't have anything else. No. Nah. I'll be honest with you, I didn't have a whole lot else. Um, do I set up? He can hit. He can hit me. Let's do it. I only I only live once, right? I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna see what I get on the next turn. If I get a rare candy, I can actually uh, Ultra Ball away the Olympia and the Field Blower, go for the Metagross, and then I can evolve turn one or turn two. And then Sycamore will help me get that second energy, potentially getting... I have to find a way to get energy in the discard, though. Dark energy onto the Aveltal. Uh, we are going to see Field Blower, which is going to get rid of Choice Band. Not a big deal. Um, uh, we do see Altar of the Moon, so any Psychic or Dark types have two retreat costs less, which is great for this Aveltal, who just wants to kind of come in and go. Uh, my Delmise gets the same idea. We are going to end, so my hand is gone! That's okay. It's not a big deal. I can get more cards. I can get opportunities. Or I get nothing. But I do have my way of getting that steel energy into the discard pile. There is that. I just actually have to Sycamore for stuff now. Uh, Max Elixir does go off on the Dark Eye, which is cool. It's expected. Um, and we're going to see an Ultra Ball go off here, which is going to get him another Dark Eye, or potentially that Tapu Lele. This way he can get his supporter for the following turn. But I wouldn't waste that now. If you know what I mean, like, you have that opportunity to save that and relish it. He's going to go for a pseudo Oro, so I can't play too many Pokemon on the bench, which is a good play. A good play overall. But I have all the Pokemon I really need. Um, I can play another Beldum line, and that's really all I need to do. So I'm going to take 30. And uh, he can attach a Dark Energy to his benched Pokemon any way he likes. Uh, that is a good play for him. Good play for him. Um, we do get the Metagross, but that's the problem. I don't want the Metagross in my hand. I needed a rare candy. Uh, we can drop down the good old Beldum. Or the energy onto the Beldum. I do have to Sycamore, though. I got Metagross. I did not get anything that I wanted, though. I didn't get anything that I needed. Like, I can't... I, I gotta go for a Matang here, because LC will just knock me out. Um, and that'll be a waste of space for me. I can Ultra Ball away the Vulpix. And how many steel do I have in here already? 
I only I don't have one psychic energy, so I can get a steal away. I can actually get away with that. I do need to go with this guy here. I can ram for 20. Now, if I pull a Metagro, oh, no, I don't know how I'm gonna work this next turn. Um, I want you to waste an energy. I don't want to give you that free retreat. So we're gonna hit you for 20. I'm sorry, that's 30 because of Delmise. That is 30 because of the Delmise. Now I can land the next attack. Like I don't have to use the energy on my Matang. Uh, I can actually drop this one down onto the Beldum as long as I don't get end. Uh, does just drop an energy down over there. He is gonna have to go for that Oblivion Wing unless he's got a VS Seeker, which he'll just go for an end. So my hand is going to disappear again. Can I get this Metagross? This is the hardest part about this is getting all the pieces together. Um, we do not. And now I get the rare candy. XP share. Onto the suit. Onto the suit of Wudu. That's different. Was not expect. Oh, so that you know, I don't knock it up. Um, that's a cool play. Uh, we're gonna take thirty. You'll get no art energy off of that. I don't really need these cards. I really just need a Metagross. I feel like this would be such a wasted play. But I don't I don't want to lose this. I haven't energy dropped yet. And if I can get two Metagross, like a rare candy Metagross on this neck like on this end, I actually have that potential to I'm asking for two Metagross and uh, two Metagross rare candy and an energy. Let's just end. I could potentially get that max potion back. I don't get anything. I really don't get anything. I get another Matang down. Go for these two. Get that Metagross. Because I really don't think you can still knock me out. <coughs> <coughs> like, sorry, guys. Uh, I can drop the Metagross down. I can knock out the Yvelto, which isn't. Uh, it won't be any energy lost. Um. I'm gonna choice ban one of the back ones. It's gonna be a weird play, but. Do I algorithm here? Ooh. Enforce an end play? If I algorithm here when I've got just the VS Seeker, what do I go for? Do I go for the Metagross? I can go for some Metagross, I can go for energy. I don't need to take this knockout right now. And then next turn, I can actually. I can pull a Lysander too. The algorithm just seems so much better. Um, I'm going to grab two Metagross. I'm going to go for a Lysander. I need energy. Is that really what I go for here? I think that's my play. I think I only go for one. And I go for a Max Potion. This way, any damage that he's done to my tank, I kind of heal it off, and I'll have three Metagross going. I can still take this thing out, no problem, and I can still attack with my Giga Hammer with the active one. Uh, so I'm not threatened by that. And then I can go for one of the Darkrai, which is like, absolutely what I need to do, uh, so I can get rid of them. Uh, we are going to see Choice Band onto Darkrai. He does have to waste an energy to get that. Uh, he'll have to waste two energy to get this Yveltal out of the active position, though. Uh, so he has another Ulcer of the Moon, which is also possible. Um, but neither one of us are kind of letting up here. It's been an interesting stall war, 
But I think we're on the more offensive approach now. We're going to see another choice band onto that other Darkrai. Uh, we do have a Field Blower still in the back. As long as we can get it, we can get rid of those things. And we'll be able to put a lot more pressure down. Um, he's already used up a Field Blower. He's going for an Ultra Ball. This will be for that Tapu Lele here. So he can either N or Sycamore. It'll be an N though. He does go for that Tapu Lele drop. Does go for Tapu Lele. Um, it was too perfect for me to have this kind of a hand right now. It uh, does just d go for that Wonder Tag, and his best play is to end. I'll get an exact hand like I have right now. It won't be perfect. Uh, it will not be this exact hand. But if he ends me, I have the ability. He goes for a Sycamore. He doesn't go for the end. Doesn't go for the end. Is he actually giving me my turn? Like, I get to keep these cards right now. Are you serious here? Uh, you do what? Uh, you do 3 or do 20? You do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 20. No, you knock out my Metagross, no problem. Knock out my Metagross, no problem. You do drop an energy down. You do have that Altar of the Moon. Fantastic! So my opponent has the ability to attack me here. A lot of cards just came down. Now he only has 180 damage. Um, as long as I can get that Choice Banded one here, I'm okay. He does hit me for 190 damage, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, but he does take first lead here. I am just going to go into my first Metagross here. Like I said, I do have both now, so I'm not threatened at all in this matchup. Uh, so I can just kind of drop here. We should have initiative here, but I do not have a Choice Ban. Oh, I have a Choice Ban on the active one! What am I saying? I'm okay. I'm okay, I swear. I'm okay. I'm okay. Geotech system. Give me that steel energy. Booyah! We can attack twice now. Uh, give me that geotech. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Uh, and we are not needing to get rid of anything. We just don't even need a Lysander. We've got that Darkrai in hand. We'll just go for the Giga Hammer. Knocks out first Darkrai of the game. And we do have a Max Potion in back. So we'll be able to just go for the Retreat, Max Potion up. We'll be all good in the hood. We got an Energy, we got a VS Seeker. <clears throat> if he doesn't want to put that Darkrai into the play, I will make him play that Darkrai. Uh, we will get rid of it this turn. He's got a lot of damage he's got to go through right now. This is one of his Dark Energies. He has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Uh, plus choice band onto this Yveltal now is actually going to drop another energy here uh, and potentially go for a Darkness Blade? Is that really what you're going for? I got rid of the end. He had an end in hand there. I guess he just drew it off. How? Why wouldn't you have gone for the end last turn? The XP shares down. I need a I need a Field Blower. I need a field blower. He's thinking I've got nothing, but I got two. I've used only the one, right? Yes, I've only used the one. XP share on. Oh, there's there's XP shares on everything. Uh, <laughs> so there's problems everywhere. Uh, I don't know what you're planning here. You're probably gonna go for an Oblivion Wing, but I do want to get rid of this setup, Darkrai. That is my objective. Now I can't attack this turn, technically. Technically, I can't attack. I need to get a choice band. So, Oblivion Wing's gonna go off. I'm gonna take 60 damage. We're gonna see a dark energy onto that XP shared one. Uh, we are gonna get a rescue stretcher. I don't want to take this prize. I will need to retreat into our other Metagross. I can max potion this guy. Just heals off the damage, which is great. I can... I 
I got no other play. Like, I don't know how to say this. Like, I don't know how to get... I don't know how to get the, out of this position. These Dark Rise are set up, and I could bring them in. They have 180 HP, though. If I had a Choice Band, I'd be great, but I only hit for 160. If I end, <clears throat> we both go down to four cards. I'm looking for a field blower. How do I do this? Do I go into the Tapu Lele? I guess that's the best play? <clears throat> I can't knock it out either, but he he has the ability to retreat here already. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have a good play. It's okay. <clears throat> 160, so we're 10 off on that one. Okay. So we do have that ability to take the prize here. We know we can do it. We can come back from this right now. Uh, all that damage that his Yveltal did to us is gone. On our one Metagross that does have the choice ban. Uh, we can go for anything we need to right now. I do have that energy drop. I can go for a Darkrai on this turn. Um, regardless of what I hit now, he's going to switch either into a Darkrai or a Tapu Lele. And I can knock them out with the Metagross. So I can actually not need to Lysander this turn. I can end or I can get... I might just go for a Sycamore and get some more utility cards here. He actually switches back into that Yveltal. Oh, you're making this difficult. But I have a Via Seeker in hand. I can go for one of your Lele's. I might actually just... Oh, you go for the Escape Rope. How many energy do I have in the discard pile? I have two. I'm okay. I go... I go for the Delmise. Why? Because my Psychic type has Free Retreat. I'm okay with this play. Goes into a Yveltal. I can instantly retreat. I'm fine with that. Do I take double damage? Yeah, I do. But do I care? No. This is actually a great play for me. Because I can retreat here because of the Altar of the Moon. And I can still Lysander, and his damage is only going on to a non-EX attacker. This is actually my best out. Um, I even got a, uh, I can't retreat. Why not? The retreat cost of each Pokemon. Oh, so I have to drop an energy. I have to drop a Psychic Energy down onto you. But well, this is actually okay now, because I'm just going to retreat into our setup Metagross. Going to Via Seeker up one of the, that good old Tapu Lele that I had. And I'm going to take two prizes. Right? This is, this is how it's going to work out here. Giga Hammer. We knock out. Now we don't get rid of the energy. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. You still don't knock me out. As far as I know. As far as I know, you don't knock me out. Ultra Ball. Kukui. Kukui is really good right now. Actually. But I do need an energy. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. You do 210. Oh, you do knock me out because the choice ban. Oh boy, we just had ourselves a bad matchup here. I 
I think we lose. Because he hits me. He legit hits me too hard. I had to waste my energy drop onto that Delmise the previous turn. I don't think I can win this. And putting Magros up in the front definitely don't give it to me because I could have attacked with the Tapu Lele. Um, <clears throat> if he's got another Dark Energy, he'll be able to do this, but I'm going to switch him into his non-setup EX Attacker. I need to put a full line of Metagross back in the deck because I've currently got way too many in the discard pile. Uh, I've already su uh, supported. I can get energy onto me this turn. And this this is this is the match that this. This is the match? No. This is the turn. Yeah, he's got it. Good game to my opponent. Well played. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't keep up. He doesn't even need it. Uh, he doesn't need to drop the choice band on it. Uh, needless to say, there was nothing I could do. Once my second Metagross went down, I, I didn't read the card very carefully. He's going to... Oh, he's just going to take up my uh, Tapu Lele. He did enough damage before, man. 290 damage. You did 290 damage. Look at that. You, you're, you're fine. You got enough damage down. Um, but we did lose against Darkrai, which is not not unheard of. Like Darkrai is still really strong, and we had a an interesting setup. Not to say we didn't have a bad setup. We actually had a pretty good setup. We got our Pokemon. Uh, we weren't able to evolve as quickly, uh, but we got everything we needed to do. Metagross did run the way it was supposed to for the most part. I uh, couldn't get that second field blower for the life of me, which could have made this game a little easier getting rid of all those uh, XP shares and all that. Um, but needless to say, it was a fantastic match. I had a lot of fun with it. It was close. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, but that is going to be um, Metagross GX in full. Um, let me know your guys' comments on the deck. What did you guys know about it? Like, what what, what kind of other games have you seen? The matchups and all that kind of stuff that you guys had paired up with against it. Um, uh, but that is going to be it for today. If you guys are brand new here, please hit that subscribe button because it means the world to me that you guys come back here and watch the videos on the regular. Um, again, if for whatever reason there is a delay in videos, um, you guys can probably hit me up on my Twitch. It's because I'm going to be streaming Final Fantasy XIV for a good chunk of time uh, until I finish the main game at least. Uh, that's why I was trying to do some bulk recording, but I did run into some issues. And unfortunately, my timing for videos is a little off. So if I run out of videos, I do apologize. MLPB will always be on the time that I'm selected for. So that you got nothing to worry about. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. But until then, time out.